There are dozens of ways to improve your golf game, and one Chinese entrepreneur is counting on this small object to help. John Lin invented a motion sensor the size of two postage stamps that golfers attach to their club. Called My Swing, it measures the club speed, loft, and angle of each shot. The data transfers immediately to your smartphone or tablet. But this is not a golf story. Lin is not even a golfer. He's a mechanical engineer with a nose for innovation and opportunity. More than two years ago, Lin co-founded a company called Noitam, which is motion spelled backwards. His company developed the motion sensor, which came to market last fall. Lin's company is an example of China's move away from low-skilled manufacturing and towards what it calls indigenous innovation. Even with rising labor costs in China, relatively low wages compared to the West, and government incentives easily convinced Lin to manufacture the product in China. I cannot offer a bunch of、uh, engineers from U.S. But are they as good as engineers from the U.S. And they are also as good as、uh, the engineers from U.S. and from. The median salary for a software engineer at Noitam is twenty-nine thousand dollars a year. Compare that to about fifty thousand dollars in Germany and ninety thousand dollars in the U.S. Everything about this product is made in China, from the packaging to the Velcro strap to the final product. Now, this is the circuit board from inside the sensor, and the only thing not made in China are some microchips, which are supplied by some companies in the U.S. and Taiwan. But maybe not for long, because Noitam is in talks with a Chinese company to possibly supply those microchips. This is written in two dimensions, two dimensions, right? Last year, Noitam moved its headquarters from Shenzhen to Beijing to take advantage of government incentives like low office rent of three thousand dollars a month at the science park, and the opportunity to apply for government grants. The company can also recruit engineering talent from Beijing's nearby universities. Production remains in Shenzhen in southern China, the home of efficient production lines. Lin will not say how much it costs to manufacture the motion sensor, but calls it a fraction of the $200 retail price. The biggest challenge now is getting noticed in a crowded field of gadgets aimed at hitting that sweet spot. Pauline Chu, CNN, Hong Kong.